Today is one of the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia, and it's already off to a rocky start. The FBI says that it is investigating the hack involving the leak of DNC emails. The party chair has promised to resign at the end of the week, and today she was booed at her own state's delegation breakfast. Debbie Wasserman Schultz told me last week in Cleveland that her party's convention would be the opposite of the Republicans. She promised optimism and unity, but so far it seems her very presence in Philadelphia is working against that goal. A mix of cheers and boos at breakfast in Philadelphia. It's the kind of division Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz had hoped to avoid at the Democratic National Convention this week. Everybody settle down, please. A day after saying she'd step down as chair of the DNC, she spoke to the Florida delegation. We have so much to do, and we have to make sure that we move forward together in a unified way. Wasserman Schultz is under fire after thousands of hacked emails from WikiLeaks show DNC staffers seem to favor Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders in the Democratic primaries. Her detractors held up signs that said emails and roll call, mimicking some of the drama we saw last week on the first day of the Republicans' four-day political bonanza. We know that the voices in this room that are standing up and being disruptive, we know that that's not the Florida that we know. The Florida that we know is united. Wasserman Schultz was among a group of Democrats holding a counter convention in Cleveland last week, telling CBS4 the DNC would be about unity and not party infighting. That we shouldn't be going in the direction the Republicans have proposed, which is through divisiveness and, uh, and, and, and poisonous rhetoric. Senator Bernie Sanders applauded Wasserman Schultz's decision to step down, but stressed his goal remains the same. The focus, though, that I am going to go forward on right now uh, is to make sure that Donald Trump must not become president of the United States. In her first joint interview with running mate Tim Kaine on 60 Minutes, Clinton weighed in. I can't speak to what people who were not working for me, um, who were uh, saying whatever they were saying, I can't speak to that. Wasserman Schultz vows to rally for the clinton Kane ticket until Election Day. And you will see me every day between now and November 8th on the campaign trail. And we will lock arms. And we will not stand down. Donald Trump tweeted this morning, quote, The state of Florida is so embarrassed by the antics of crooked Hillary Clinton and Debbie Wasserman Schultz that they will vote for change. Wasserman Schultz herself is up for re-election and facing a Democratic primary challenger next month. Our coverage of the opening day of the Democratic National Convention will continue in just a few minutes when we take you live to Philadelphia for the latest. CBS4's David Sutta will be in Philadelphia for the Democratic National Convention. Look for his live reports to begin tonight on CBS4 News at 5. CBS News and CBS4 News have you covered in Philadelphia. CBS News will have live coverage tonight through Thursday night of the Democratic National Convention beginning at 10 o'clock. That's followed by CBS4 News tonight at 11.